In the previous episode, we reached St. Linade's Inn, destroyed bandits for quests, learned a ton of new recipes for food and gear, uncovered an escape route in the Vitruvian jail, built stocks to avoid prisoners escaping captivity, and captured more prisoners to sell. So we cleared everybody out. We've got a few things we can do here. There's actually a lockpick. There's one. There's two. Man, I had it. It's right here. Yeah, I knew it was right there. I messed up. So we got in. Where does this go? Oh, it's just a chest. So some money and a trinket. Yeah, nothing too crazy there. Now, we do want to go back to the jail at some point to turn this guy in, but that's a long trek for whatever it's going to be, 50 gold, 60 gold, or crowns. So maybe we'll hang on to him. You know what we should do, actually, is we need to pull the stuff out of the chest. Put this guy in the stockade. There, so you're not going anywhere. Yeah, these only need to be in there when you're resting, so that's what I should have done. That cost us. So we uncovered most everything right there. Let's go back up this way. Should We can sell a few things here. Yeah, we're not going to hang on to this stuff. Let's just sell it all. We don't want to break it down either. It's not really worth it. This two-handed mace looks pretty good. It's it's actually better than Lucia. It's probably pronounced Lucia, if I had to guess. So it's better than Lucia, but I think this one is... Uh, yeah, this one's upgradable. So I think once you upgrade this one, it'll be better. We're not planning on using two-handed anyway, so let's just sell it. Just keep getting rid of all the unnecessary stuff. These trinkets as well. So it takes us up to 752. We're, we're actually in pretty good shape with, with money. Let's cut through the forest here, get to the quest, take these guys out. Wait, are they? Oh, no, they're over here. I was going to say, are they on the other side of the map? Yeah, here they are. Now, they've got archers over here. Let's see, can we reach them on the flank? This one we can. What about this guy? We cannot on that one, unfortunately. Where's our other melee? There you are. Maybe this guy has better movement? Yeah, so he can. Okay, so we can lock down the archers, and then we can swarm the she-wolf. I think we'll stick to this side for now. So who is moving first? This guy is not going to be able to reach nothing. Let's start with a, a double hit. And we still want to use this this torch, so we'll get two hits in on them. And we'll back out so we don't catch on fire with the, with those two. Now, Archer's moving next, so that's our cue to get in there. And we'll get a free throw in. Get a bash. And this won't kill, so we can capture it. And that's a poacher, so this is perfect, actually. We'll be able to capture people on this one. So we'll probably get... Maybe our, one of our spearmen. Can they get back there? No. Too far. Oh, no. Nobody can get back there. All right. Who's going next? It's their boss. Now, we've got two moves. Let's let's move into position here. Let's take out the leader, hopefully. So, we're going to go ahead and we'll barrage. We'll move in, get a shot, and barrage. And then the next turn, I think, should be able to reach. Yeah. So, he'll be able to capture after the barrage. And we're only going to be able to get two shots here, so let's go ahead and push somebody just to give them what we'll be able to utilize that third shot so it's not going to waste. <laughs> okay, never mind. It is going to go to waste. Uh, she's going to get a hit off, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, at least she got the hit. That's interesting. I didn't know if they went back in that they got a second hit. So that's kind of cool. So next to move, he's going to be able to reach anybody. So what we should probably do here, uh, I think we just need to move back. It's fine. We'll waste a turn. Yeah, our tank can handle it. Devin. All right, same thing here. We'll throw a spear. Oh, that's going to be a one tap. I don't... Oh, no, it took the turn. Well, at, at least we can heal so that I get rid of the two, two dots that they've got. Now, this poacher is going to get a shot off pretty much regardless of what we do. So let's just do a little bit more damage. And they're already engaged, so let's deal with some of these guys in the back. Oh man, that hurts. So that's an instant kill. Ooh, that's that's actually going to bring him down into capture range. So we've got one in our storage. There's two here. We needed to capture at least one of these, I think. And then we'll be in really good shape. And of course, we can't get there in time here. So let's push this guy back a little bit. And next turn, we'll do the capturing. All right, Archer. Oh, we're doing this again. I can't I can't capture. Why can I not capture? Okay, there's something going on. Maybe you can't use chains if they're stolen. That's really weird if that's the case, but... No, see, I can capture this guy. All right, so we got two. We can capture both of these. Oh, well, this guy might die, though. Well, maybe not, but we'll try. All right, everybody here is dead except for this guy, but he's pretty much dead now. Let's go ahead and get this guy engaged. And then we'll work on bringing him down. We don't want to use anything that's going to disengage. 
So no pushes. We don't want anything that's going to get a critical hit or a high chance of critical hit. Because that's pretty much guaranteeing that we're going to we're gonna kill him instead of capturing. Oh wow, he's going to kill Luluko. What the heck, man? All right, let's go heal him. And then we should be able to engage this guy without killing him. Yeah, our mace doesn't seem to do a ton of damage. Yeah, nice. Okay, so this actually worked out pretty well. So let's get a capture on him. There we go. That's going to take him down a good amount, but it's not really enough. And then I think a second hit. Yeah, it's not enough. It's either not enough or too much. So hard to, hard to explain, but yeah. yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the best thing to hit him with here is. I mean, this this arrow doesn't usually do that much. The problem is, if it crits, it's going to kill him. Oh, we'll try it. Well, that's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> the, it, I don't think we had much of an option anyways. So we only have two... Well, we only captured two out of that. Or uh, one out of that, so we have two prisoners. That's not so good. So we got some really good light armor, though. 25 armor is pretty good. Let's put it on one of our... Where are you? Our pikemen. Yeah, so it's plus one critical hit, plus five armor. Movement speed stays the same. Now, if we repair this, it's it's worth 48. Now it's worth 48. So actually, if we're going to sell it, it's better not to repair him. But we might want to use this hunter cloak on somebody else, actually. Let's see if it's any good on, on our archers here. Yeah, plus eight armor. Everything else is the same. Plus one critical hit. Plus two critical hit. Wow, it's really good. So we'll definitely uh, we'll keep passing it down. Make sure everybody gets good upgrades out of it. And then Jelly. Doesn't make a difference for Jelly. And Charlie Chen with the level. That's going to give us the plus five movement speed again. So there's another one. Oh, did I just not pick it? Maybe I didn't pick it on that last one. Whoops. So we got some money waiting for us when we get back. Border crossing. There's another border crossing here. So we're probably not going to be getting through this. Yeah, we can get through. We have to pay 200. Let's finish this area off first. Planning I was just kind of curious. So we could take a quest, but I think we have to go through, right? Ludern. Where are we at right now? Virtus, Tiltrin, yeah, Ludern. So we don't want to take that just yet. Okay, well, at least we know where the border crossing is. There's something to loot up there. It doesn't look like there's anything else here, so this is probably the limit of this area. Right, we'll hide in the woods here. Guards are coming. They're still looking for us. And we'll slow down so we can rest. Yeah, we'll get another prisoner in there. Oh, actually, wait, we have three? Oh, maybe we took two there. Okay, I'm, like, losing my mind here. That's going to be a lot of food, though. Yeah, that, that takes up a ton of our food. What are these guys? Slave camp. Interesting. Did they buy them? Because we have them. Or was this, maybe this was one of our quests I forgot about. Well, we can deal with it later. And Jesse Bogart got journeyman. Let's you craft fish, uh, expert fish hooks. And you can reel in random components. Now, I actually forgot to disc, uh, I was going to sell this fish hook. This one's got one out of three uses left, but it's really annoying to have to deal with it. So let's just throw it in the trash and we'll craft some, some from scratch. Actually, we can do the, the expert fish hook now too. What does that cost? So this one costs two iron and two bait. That's fine. We'll make a couple of these things. Oh, and I forgot to do the the quality projectiles. Let's let's make two of them. That's all we can make anyways, but let's go equip it on our... Let's see, who do we want? So 5% critical hit, but that could be used on somebody else. No, we want that because she needs as much crit, critical hit as she can get. Critical hit damage. Yeah, Rick's got a really high critical hit chance. So we only have two, but we got two other archers. I think we can get it on both of these guys. Yeah, perfect. So it's fine. They both have it. Actually, we only need two anyway, so that worked out. But let's keep exploring the rest of the, the edges of this map, and then we'll go back to town, collect our cash. Ooh, nice, more pigs. Exactly what we need, too, because we are starting to run low on food. So this one wants to charge us right away. Let's actually get a spear wall up. Should get stuck in the lightning bolt. And with this one, I think what we'll do is... Hopefully we'll get a crit. That's what I was hoping for. And then we can block off the rest. Nice, there's one. There we go. There's another one down. We'll get some knockback. I don't... I don't think it's going to be enough to kill, so that boar's probably going to get a hit in. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Wants to get hit by lightning, I guess. Well, I guess we'll we'll just get some shots in. We need the XP anyways. We actually killed it. All right, so we'll take the kills because we want the XP. We won't we won't let the uh, lightning take our our XP. All right, last hit and we're done. So we didn't really take a single hit there. I don't think. Pretty easy. Five pork, so that'll go right into our bellies. What else we got to do here? Bandit Slayer, so that's a quest we don't want to do yet. A couple fishing spots, we'll definitely take advantage of that. Yeah, we're going to be in really good shape in terms of food here. And we're using the new fishing hook, the expert one. So let's see what it does. Three eel and one, that's pretty good. 
four bass. Wow, this thing pulls in a lot of food. And four bass. So that was 11 food for one fishing spot. It's pretty crazy. Let's get around this guy. Free fish and a piece of leather. Yeah, leather. It's nice to get leather out of this. Getting wood doesn't really matter too much. Another three. Just because we have so much wood and it's not hard to get it anyways. But the leather is pretty rare. And some hemp. That's useless. Now, legendary craftsman. So we got another person up to legendary. Or journeyman or master. So that allows us to unlock level four. So again, carry capacity, sale price, that doesn't really matter. So reputable mercenaries, I think we took negotiator last time and that unlocked this one. Increase by one the number of missions you can accept. Let's do that. Yeah, I don't feel like we need any of these other ones. We're, we're good on carry capacity. And for sure, we'll do that bandit camp at some point. Guards are still looking for us. I, what, I wonder what level... Oh, they're chasing. All right, let's run. Yeah, I wonder at what level of suspicion they stop chasing you. So we can take another quest here for the bandits. Let's uh, let's go 80%. Let's go another 75. So now it's worth 296. We still have a ton of influence. So why don't we spend a little more? I think 75. Oh, no, that one failed. So we'll take our 260. Let's go buy some salt. We're going to need to cook some stuff here. And let's see what else we can cook here. Pike soup, grilled pork. You know, we could actually save the pork. And we could do some pork stew. So this one gives 14 food. So this would normally be four, so four, eight, 12. So you get an extra two and maximum valor point. It's not, not great, but it's not bad. And we want to make sure we keep cooking these apple pancakes. We ran out, so let's do that. Yeah, I think the grilled pork, uh, pork stew, we can buy beans. So we need apple pancakes, honey, wheat, and apples. Let's buy a little bit of each of that. Here we go. Let's see what we can get out of this. Oh, we didn't buy the beans. Wait, can we buy beans? Maybe we can't even buy. I thought I saw somebody selling beans before, but maybe not. It might have been a, a trader, like a, a traveling one. Oh, no worries. We got to do the apple pancake anyways. Yeah, let's just cook the pork. We'll cook the pike, and then we can make a couple apple pancakes. So we need three more wheat, three more apples, and we'll have two of them. Let's just do that. Oh, they only have two. Well, that's not good. Yeah, we'll have to come back later. Okay, well, we'll, we'll get one apple pancake then. Normal quality. That sucks. Yeah, that 45% was really nice to have. But we've got six days of food, so we should be in pretty good shape here. Shouldn't have to worry about that for a little while. So we can sell some of these things. Actually, we only have one piece of armor that we need to sell. Any trinkets? Yeah, I don't think so. We're starting to pile up quite a bit of supplies. And it might not be a bad idea to start crafting some things. Let's see what we got here. It, it, at the very least, we could just sell it. Oh, probably not a good idea to sell it. We, we probably want to use it. But if we have to. Uh, before we switch the item over, let's see what we can actually make. Oh, we have no iron. Yeah, we're going to need iron for pretty much any of this stuff. Okay, well, there goes that idea. Now, we have the option to, to make a ballast stone. Precision plus 10%. That's not all that useful. I guess if you don't want to hit your own people, but 10% is not really... I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's a... It, it would be enough to get me out of bed. How about that? So, not much we want to unlock here. Food-wise, there's nothing that's all that appetizing here. We could also do some of these as well. I think in the long run, the bound... <sighs> The Bountiful Bounties and then the Offer Hunter is is probably not a bad idea. Accepting is not that big of a deal, but having plus one extra so you can get, you know, the, the missions that are more on your level, I think would be a good idea. So why don't we just do that? That's going to help us in the long run. And that unlocks... No, that doesn't unlock anything. Okay, well, let's go back into the tavern and see if that unlocks anything we can, we can take. So we had one average, two hard. Now we got one average and three hard. <laughs> Now, we still haven't found where the heck this thing is. If that's the town... Well, I, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's 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 head back over the river. There's a quest we got to do over there anyways. I have a feeling our little mission or quest is going to be right up here to drop this guy off so we can stop mooching off of our food. Right, let's take some food. We outmatch these guys quite a bit, so... Yeah, there's one already dead. We just need to make sure we don't get hit by lightning and then we're in good shape. All right, we should be able to finish this off, actually. That's a free hit. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> there we go. Remus needs to get the XP anyway, so this is actually really good. And last shot. That's it. So they didn't even get close to us because we kept pushing them back and destroying them. So seven. That's a lot of meat. And we got even more leather, so we should probably start using that soon. What is over here? It's like a castle. Yeah, Marheim Castle. That's pretty cool looking. Right, let's see what they offer here. So they have a forge and something else. Now we can make some reinforced layers. It's going to take a lot of our cloth. I don't know if we want to keep that. Let's make one. There is one person that's using armor that's got a slot. Yeah, there's not really anything else we can craft without iron. What about in here? 
Brunhilde Ader Alazar. So there's definitely some stuff going on with the vineyards here. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything, but we can inspect this. Let's see what this guy's got to I'm say. I'm sorry, but I do not have time to see you. Well, nothing we can do there yet. Can we get more grilled pork? Let's just um, let's just cook it. I already know we're going to use it anyways. And we could use a few more people in the tent since we used a lot. Maybe let's do that. All right, so we have a lot of carcasses. That's going to be taking up a lot of space. 280 out of 400. So we, I mean, we have plenty of room, but yeah, we don't really want to keep these things. So we'll keep a handful of them just in case we need to get a single food. There we go. So we're good. We got to pay wages again. Oh, food requirement I'm at. Yeah, let's throw some throw some mushrooms in there. And yeah, we got another knowledge point. I think we'll save it. Yeah, I don't really know what we'll spend it on. I guess we could do the bountiful bounties. So that could we could take up to four. We can't even use the bounties right now anyways. Let's just um, let's keep moving. So much needed iron. Hopefully we find a mine too. Actually, we could always go back to Tiltron. And that seems to be where a lot of the iron mines are. So, and we haven't been there for a while, so they'll probably be replenished at this point. And it looks like there's a training ground up here and a fisherman's shack. So somebody's missing. We got to go find them. Right, let's do some fishing. They said there's something in the water here. All right, we got something. Hoisted up a chest. What do we got in the chest? Wait, where is this thing? I don't even see it. It's because it's right there. And we can use one of our ornate keys. We got one left. Fragment of precious item. Interesting. So we'll have one more after the, the one that we're currently working on. And we can fish again. Now we used up all of our fishing hooks, so we should probably make some more. So expert fishing hook. We can only do two more, but let's let's craft them both. Yeah, we're gonna need to go take out another group. Uh, what do you call it? The rat infestations. We gotta do another one of those if we want to craft. And we have so much food now. We got seven days of food, and that's including all these prisoners that we got. We really need to drop them off. Actually, we should probably just head straight there and do that. So we got three of them. They're they're kind of eating a lot of food. But this is somebody's animal. It's a little portly. <laughs> it's funny. My first dog's name was Buddy, and it was a, a white Alaskan Spitz. I look like that. And he was dumber than rocks, man. But good dog. So we got to try and capture. Hopefully we have rope on us. I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure we do. Oh, uh, that might be too much. Yeah, that guy hits too hard. We got to try it. Oh, Buddy's dead. <laughs> I'm a stupid moron. Okay, so I guess you lose the game if you kill. Buddy, that's kind of silly. So let's try it again. Same thing, we gotta get... Uh, maybe we'll start with this this one, because that'll take him down even lower. And then we can try and capture with this. Nice, 100%, so we got Buddy. So now we have another mouth to feed. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with this. There's an arena, there we go. That's the arena they were talking about earlier. A little bit of cash on the floor there. Let's see what this thing does. Yeah, this is just gonna be an arena. Or, sorry, the training grounds. Now, we can re-specialize our companions if we really want to, but... I think we'll keep them the way they are for now. We only have one weapon to upgrade and we're not even using it, so let's skip that. Skill mastery allows you to... Oh yeah, upgrade. So certain skills can be upgraded. So I guess that's what that's for. We need a couple people to have aim. Uh, probably, well, taunt, not really that good. Run and aim, I think, would be really good on all of our archers. So we'll probably want to do that at some point. What could? What do these things steal for? Yeah, still over 100. So we won't do that just yet. Well, we won't do anything there, but at least we know where it is. So let's head down to the jail, get rid of these guys. They are... I mean, we have a lot of food, so we can spare it, but I don't really want to... I'd rather save up so we don't have to worry about food for a few, you know, a few days. Yep, here we are, waiting again. So this is going to cost us 50 food. That's a lot. But we'll use the apple pancake this time. Some of the fish. So Remus, there we go. We haven't actually had one of these in a while. Hopefully we can get... No, I was going to say, it'd be nice if we get an aptitude upgrade, but not the case. So we don't need that. We've got a ton of influence already. So let's just take the XP. 49 doesn't really do much. Oh, there's a guard right next to us. Good thing they did not aggro. All right, something happened here. We got to figure out whose dog this is too. I doubt it's any of these people's. And you know what we should do? We should put a pit in right here. Because it is, I mean, it's a small thing, but we're going to be coming up here quite a bit. So we'll turn this quest in. We got 75 crowns, not bad. And we can fill up the jail. So these are worth 70. That's really good. And it's going to get rid of a lot of our suspicion. Oh, there we go. So we got most of our chains back as well. Now our suspicion meter is pretty much at zero. Let's just steal something so we can have it decaying. Yeah, I don't know that we'll really use it, but at least we have it. Yeah, so now we can make some treats. Yeah, chance of capturing a an animal is increased by 15%. That's not too bad. We have a ton of bass. We have 23 bass, only three carp and six eel. I don't think there's one for bass though. 
Yeah, sardines, perch. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the bass one. Really don't know what to take for this next point. We can't really unlock anything useful in, in any of these other ones. I am kind of curious if we unlock these, sometimes it'll open up these as a second option. Let's let's take the bountiful bounties. We'll end up using that. Doesn't look like anything opens up though. So that's unfortunate, but not a big deal. We'll put a pikes in here because I don't want to have to tr travel all the way back up that way. All two seconds of it. Let's keep moving. Yeah, this wolf. I don't I don't know what we're supposed to do with this wolf. Uh, we can check up here. Let's just go see if they want a wolf. Can we donate? We already donated food and all this other stuff. Can we donate a wolf? Doesn't look like it. All right, well, back on the road. All right, there's some more boars over there. We, we're we already pretty well loaded on food. I don't think we need to worry about that for now. Let's just keep moving. Oh, you know what? Jugglers can't. Maybe the circus. Maybe they've got room for the boar. Oh, we can do some log, log cutting as well. Yeah, this looks like, looks like this is where it is. So let's hand him over. So that's going to give us a leader and bacon bound collar. All right, buddy. Glad we didn't kill you. <laughs> so we got two things here. So the lira, it's a trinket. Unfortunately, we can't use it. I was going to say that I don't know if our bard can use it. I think it's the loot that we need. But we can at least get this. So bacon bound collar unit can be tr controlled in combat. I mean, there's a, I, I believe there's a perk to do that anyway. So that's not all that great, to be honest. Right, what else can we do here? Glad to have him back. No, I think maybe that was the only thing we had to do here. Oh, glad to see that. Right, that's all we can do here, it looks like. So we'll keep moving. And that's one last mouth to feed, so we're up to eight days of food instead of seven. So there's another vineyard up here. This one looks like it's in good condition, though. So they may not be suffering the same fate as these other ones. Your mercenaries, right? I need your help, and I'm willing to pay. Just name your price. So she's going to pay 100. Perfect. We'll definitely take it. But well, we have to go over there anyways. Come down here. So there is some fishing spots. I'm wondering if we should just do it, because I'll, I'll probably forget. Yeah, let's just get it out of the way. It's a shame you don't find... Uh, Iron ore in this one. I, mean, I get why you wouldn't. I don't know how you would hook iron ore with the uh, a fish hook, but that's what we need. There we go. So we actually got 12 fish out of that. 10 days of food. This is crazy. So we're approaching nighttime. Let's go take care of this quest. Wait, is there two? Oh, what, who are these guys? These might be the ones that we need to attack. Or no, they're the ones helping us guard. No, these are the ones we need to defend with. So they've got some pretty serious firepower here. Although it doesn't look like they have a gang leader. So uh, what does this guy do? Mudsling. So that guy does 13 damage to all units in the area because he throws mud. It's kind of weird. Yeah, so that's their version of the archer. Let's go ahead and load up on one side. We'll just outrange him. And I'm actually wondering if we can get... Let's see, where are you? Where's Peter Bond? There we go. Can he reach? That's too far. Maybe Jesse Bogart. And then with a run, he can do it. So that may not be a bad idea. Let's go ahead and distribute our archers a little bit smarter here. Yeah, these guys are going to be stuck for a while. This guy's stuck for a while, so we should be good. All right, let's go focus on these. These are all the same, except for this guy. We're going to try and funnel everybody over this way. And we'll put him under watch. Now, we can't lock this guy up. Yeah, let's do that, actually. We should probably do that. He's the, the leader. So we'll hit him with this. We'll give him a destabilizing strike. Smack him with a sword that destroys his armor, so we should be good there. They get a hit in. Oh. Wow. He hit us twice for four damage. I was expecting a little bit more than that. Ooh, this is actually perfect. Yep. We can hit all three there. Let's not do the fire strike. It's just... <laughs> it's going to do more damage to us, I bet. So let's just uh, avoid that, I think. And what I'd like to do is get these guys involved. We want to use... Oh, he's not going to be able to do it. There we go. And he'll get a shot off. And let's run out of the way. Oh, we ran through poison. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's make sure that we get all of our shots off here. Yeah, we don't want those to go to waste. Yeah, I think we're going to have to waste one of them because we need we need to lock this guy up so he doesn't go out and smack our guys a lot. All right, we need somebody with knockback here now. So that'll be the last shot. Yep, he'll get his off. And we'll just end our turn. Right, and let's send one of our guys up here to go deal with the archer. Oh, man. That was a huge hit. Right, we're in very good shape. Oh, man. Yeah, that hurts. Oh, it creates mud everywhere. That is interesting. What the heck is he using? The mud sling... 
What an interesting bow and arrow. I wonder if we can get that or if that's just something the AI can use. Yeah, really interesting. Does the mud last or is it maybe it goes away after this turn? We're going to want to send somebody after this one. But actually, you know what? We could probably just we, we could probably just snipe him, actually, now that I think about it. But let's take this guy out. Yeah. Man, stabbed right through the armor. Yeah, let's heal this guy up so there's no poison. And we got to go after this archer now. But we should probably... Actually, let's focus on setting up a defense. Because these four are going to be coming soon. We want to get our archers in a good spot and get a shield wall in place. So let's head over here. We'll just start beating this guy down. Yeah, so he can't get out now. Now I'm wondering, is is it worth trying to capture these guys? Because we could convert them. Uh, probably not. I don't think we want to mess with that yet, but we could, I guess. Let's keep the spearmen in reserve. Sociable trait. Oh, that's kind of cool. Improved relations with tib tibbers. All right, let's just get back out of the way. So what we're going to want to do now is get some shots. Let's start hitting these guys. Yeah, they're still really far, so we don't. We could probably use aim on the next one if they're not in range. Now, unfortunately, this guy doesn't have aim. Yeah, Jelly needs to... Oh, why did I... That was a mistake. I didn't mean to pass the turn on that. Let's um, let's get one Spearman over here as well. Got to even it out a little bit. So we can start using aim. Oh, that's two hits. And we'll just fall back just a little bit. And this guy does not have aim as well. That's brutal. Yeah, they definitely need aim. I don't want to go too close. But we should be okay doing this. Yeah, I don't think he can reach. The problem's going to be this Sagittarius. We got to deal with him. It's actually, since we're here, let's just deal with this. So he's gone. And yeah, we're good. We'll get a knockback in. Yeah, the knockback is, is really brutal. And it's especially brutal when everybody has Valor support. You can aim from super far, push him back, move back a little bit, and then just Valor support all the way back up to full. It's pretty crazy. Like, we'll do it again right now. Oh, no crit. But vulnerability, so the next tech will be a crit. And we can move this guy... Yeah, let's get him up here so he can intercept, just in case they ever do happen to, to breach. Alright, that's one archer, the mudslinger down, and we'll get him up here. Well, let's deal with this guy. Destabilize. Oh, he's got repost. Protective strike. In position for one round, guard is doubled. There's got to be something here that, that adds riposte, because he's counterattacking. Powerful counter skill. When hit by an engaged enemy, this unit retaliates with an attack of opportunity. Ooh, that is a really good shield. We definitely want that shield. I doubt we'll get it, but it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to get mud slung at us. Hopefully hits his own guy. <laughs> oh, this game's kind of funny. There's some Table World's math going on there. Now, I don't know if if this guy's going to be able to get out of that mud and get to him, so we'll get our Spearman in position. Yeah, we can at least push him that direction. Make it a little bit easier. Yeah, he can. Nice. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I'm an idiot. I hit the wrong button. I didn't want to... I wish there was a, a confirmation on this. I'm trying to use the hotkeys, but I obviously miscounted that one. Well, he's going to get another hit in. That's cool. Yeah, that's stupid. We just wasted all that, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. So let's deal him a nice hit. Yeah, we can finish him off right here. Be gone. So we want those mud... We probably want those mud bows and then also the shields. Yeah, if we can pick up the shield from this guy, that'd be really good. That's a big hit. And we still got our knockback. Actually, we need to use some of these points. Let's just do that. All right, he's trying to get out. He's not going to get out, though. There we go. So we won that. That was a long battle. Not not a difficult one, but it was long. Oh, we got it. A Lazarian Heater Shield. So powerful counter, counter skill. That's definitely going on the guy with the axe. Who's the axe? Well, let's just take everything. So we also got a bow. So this is the Alzerian Mudslinger bow. We may not use it because it, it's low damage, but it's really interesting because against a bunch of uh, melee troops, it's going to be incredibly strong, easy to kite, especially if you've got a bunch of these, you know, archer units. So we'll take our 200. She's going to pay us 400 to go figure it out. So we get to go to the trackers, have a chat with them. Devin is going to get that shield. So it's actually less armor, 
Oh no, sorry, it's it's only plus one armor. But the skill, it, it, the, the shield itself is not amazing, but the skill that it gives you is really, really good. And the attack of opportunity is 100% strength or dexterity. That's Can't complain with that. And the interesting bow, I guess we could put on somebody that doesn't have a decent bow. Remus, yeah, Remus doesn't have the knockback. So this one does a guaranteed nine damage area of effect. This one goes 10 to 16. So it's, it's really not that much worse, but it'll help create a choke point and slow people down. So let's do it. We're going to use the, <laughs> we're going to use the mudslinger bow. Now, actually the thing that sucks is we don't have aim. Being able to shoot that from a really far distance would be nice. So who has aim? Uh, only Jamo and Rick Walker. You know, it's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it. So is this bow better? Yeah. So jelly will actually get a better bow now too. But we'll hang on to that bow because I don't know if we're going to want to keep that mudslinger thing. That may not be a good item to have. So we'll, we'll keep it just in case. Whoa. What did we just get? 